Chapter 1. Scumbag on the Precipice of Greatness Many scandalous years after his adolescence, Mountain Cap stood like a solitary sentinel on the final tee of the U.S. Open, his presence commanding the attention of all who beheld him. The sun hung low in the sky, casting long shadows across the emerald expanse of the golf course. It was a scene straight out of a painting, serene and picturesque, yet within Mountain's heart, a storm raged. His fingers tightened around the grip of his club, the smooth yet firm club grip perfectly contoured to his hands. But despite the outward calm, turmoil churned within him like a tempestuous sea. Last night's indiscretions clawed at his conscience, threatening to pull him under. The taste of whiskey lingered on his tongue, a bitter reminder of his weakness. He had sworn he would not drink, not before the most important golf tournament of his life, and yet he had succumbed to temptation like a moth drawn to a flame. And all that cocaine. The mere thought of it sent a shiver down his spine, a chill reminder of the darkness that still lurked within him. Mountain closed his eyes, trying to shut out the memories that haunted him like ghosts in the night. He remembered the woman he spent the night before with. He told himself that he remembered her name, but suspected on some level that wasn't even true. He remembered only that she had an odd number of toes. Literally. Through the drug-induced haze, he knew she had either one too many or one too few, but certainly not the proper allotment of ten toes. But none of that even mattered now, as he vaguely remembered throwing a crouton at her in the wee hours of the morning. Perhaps it was even a handful of croutons, or even one unusually large crouton that had been splintered into oh so many pieces. He supposed that he could have even dreamt about using the crouton or croutons as a projectile weapon, but highly doubted that he could ever have such a colorful dream. He wished that he could turn back time and erase the mistakes and most of the memories that now threatened to consume him entirely. But his wishes were as futile as trying to hold back the tide with a fishing net. The announcer's voice then cut through the silence, breaking Mountain from his reverie. It was time to face the music, time to confront the consequences of his strategically unsound actions. With a heavy heart, he stepped up to the tee, with the weight of the world bearing down upon him. And as he prepared to take his shot, doubt gnawed at the edges of his mind like a hungry beast. Could he really overcome the demons that haunted him? Could he rise above the darkness that threatened to swallow him whole? Would he be able to avoid shitting the bed? With a deep breath, Mountain swung the club, the motion fluid and effortless. For a fleeting moment, he felt a glimmer of hope and a spark of possibility igniting within him. The ball soared through the air, a tiny speck of white against the vast blue sky, and for a moment, it seemed as though anything was possible. But as the ball arced towards the green, reality crashed down upon Mountain like a ton of bricks. He knew that no matter how far the ball traveled, it could never truly outrun the demons that chased him. And in that moment, he realized that winning the U.S. Open in and of itself would bring him no solace and no redemption. For Mountain knew that true victory could only be found within himself in the courage to confront his shady past and forge a new path forward. And as the ball landed with a satisfying thud on the green, only a couple of feet from the hole, he made a silent vow to seize that victory, no matter what the cost. 